Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. Uh, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just gave you a good vibe or just insight you truly needed for today, please give a thumbs up and share. It would be greatly appreciated. Send so much love, light, happy holidays, whatever you may be doing, mazel tov, whatever, feliz navidad, you know, that too. You know, you know, much love to you and everything like that. And I hope, you know, y'all have a blessed holiday. And... You know, to, to also to the low level frequencies, the nefarious thoughts, you know, people trying to block, placing the little stuff. Everything is blocked. You can't read between the lines, can't destroy it, don't stray. All that's going back towards you 20 minutes times fold. And the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oga, spiritual test taking, uh, taking place left and right um, of your mindfulness and your discernment. Don't go back to what's familiar. You're needed in the unknown. You know, what I've been saying, it, it's been so many different things. Everybody's being tested. There'll be certain situations that universe and God will put us in, even the devil. You know, they'll be using those different things in our lives to just try to see, are we going to go back to doing our old ways? Did we learn our lessons with uh, the different things we did, the certain directions that we, uh, you know, we took, or even just the certain decisions that we made to do things that was you know we did it you know without really fully thinking and these are the different things you know can be very aggravating especially if you're going through uh i know a lot of the light ones you know the star seeds and stuff we're going through very heavy transition and it, it can really be <laughs> it really have you all out of whack but these are the different things where they're telling you pause slow your roll <laughs> you know get your rest you know you maybe not want to really talk to anybody you're just isolated or being um what do they call it isolated and in solitude and these are the different things where it's just showing you how things have unfolded you know this is at the end of the year so it's just basically trying to see have you really let things sink in on the different things that you have uh, gone through did you see the different things that came in and come out you know like i told y'all before history is repeating itself so a lot of people that uh you have taken out of your lives or you know universe has taken them out of your lives they're starting to come back just to see if universe is like did you learn your lesson from these people you know um make sure you're checking energy when you're uh doing different things and especially if you're tarot card readers they're asking for you to do an energy check before you even uh, you know want to approve or deny anybody that you're reading because you know some people do that you know they could be these dark empaths or something like that and be trying to use divination on your on on your um what is it your energy you know people can do that on different stuff when you're doing tarot and stuff like that so they always telling you to double check on these different things but these are the different things it's not you know want to be talking about uh narcissist and all that stuff but it's just you know when you can really look at life you know and you've gone through many things there's a lot of things you, you know chapters you don't speak on there's battles that you've been you know at war with that you don't tell anybody and these are the different things that's gone through in life where i mean it can feel like you know a rock in a hard place like every time you get up you getting smacked back down and these are the different things this is where your warrior your meaning behind that because you have your own definition we're all warriors anybody who's you know watch me and you, you're a Hayoko, we all have our own path we all have our own definition of what a warrior is we don't get stuck with stuff that's petty you get hit hard with them heavy junks so it, it's just like you know just not pinpointing different people or anything like that i was saying mm, i'm gonna leave that alone you know but just you're just going through different things in life and where i mean you're gonna be ready <laughs> where you be ready to just you know fall out cuss out you know universe and and god or there could be different times where you can really see this was a far better benefit for you and even a lot of times we have to really just sit back and see this was a better better benefit for me you know if there could have been somebody that I was really kind to and this person just seeing me as an easy target to try to sit up here and see if I can be taken advantage of and it's just like you know you allow yourself to understand okay this is something you had to go through so you can be able to learn different red flags you know there's a lot of people out there that don't have your best interest at heart you know a lot of times empath 
means idiot to a lot of people. You know, you have that good heart. Never think you're stupid or naive or anything like that. It's just that you have a good heart. You know, they always tell you you got to be watch mindful. You know, mindful you discernment when you're talking about yourself, talking about other people. You know, there's different things. You're on your healing vibe. We cannot force anybody to heal. You know, you can give them that seed of growth or whatever they want to do, but it has to be their choice. You can't force nobody to be able to do that. You can just be able to, hey, this is your seed. This is what I went through. I was, you know, I was told to pass this to you and you have to be on your way, you know, and just being able to do things. Don't be holding yourself back for no one. Okay, time waits for nobody. These are those different things where, you know, if you're moving on in life and you're growing, you're appreciating these things. You know, I can look at all the different stuff that I've uh I've done, you know, different things that I've talked about. Y'all know I've been talking about all kind of crazy stuff. But just when I've seen stuff, it really put me to the test. Like, it really put me to the test. You know, I've seen highs and lows and all in between. And these are the different things that really, you know, took me, you know, really put me through, through that emotional roller coaster. I'm like, God damn. You know, it really put, went there. But then it's just like, girl, this shows you how strong you actually are. You know, these are the different things. It's just like where universe... You want to see how strong you are. Look at all the stuff that you don't constantly face in some kind of weird, weird way. You don't overcame a lot of things or different things. It's just really um, where your soul mastery, you know, even if your challenges has not changed that you can't see. You know, there's different stuff that's going on behind the scenes, but you're doing you. You know, you're not letting the left hand know what the right hand's doing. You're just taking it day by day. You don't even know. But it's just at that point, like, look, you know, I, I can't change anything except my attitude and how I, you know, how I take this day. You know, let me make what it counts. You know, it's, you know, you keep on going. There will be a lot of people there in the situations that's worse than mine. Let me just do what I need to do. You know, I only can know about my stuff, but it's just you taking it day by day. And these are the different things that's going on in life. Like, you know, things will get you know, uh, blocked or certain things won't go as planned as you plan to do them that day. You have to understand, you have to remind yourself if, if, if this rejection is for your own protection, you know, and different things like that. And it, it's like right now, you really being tested, especially if it's around the holidays. I don't like holidays. Not when it has anything to do with family. That's a very touchy subject for me. But it was just at that point, like, you know, Rosalind, get out your feels. You know, God knows. You know, universe knows. He understands that. But these are the different things you don't went through. And it really showed you your, your strength on every level that you done been through. Because it was a life and death situation for you. But you rolled with the punches. And I guarantee you, you don't roll with yours, too. There will be a lot of different things that you're battling. You know, people like, hey, how you doing? Or whatever. I ain't seen you in a minute. Oh, I'm going good. You know, even if you're doing bad, you're still doing good because this is, you know, this is something that you, is out of your control, you know, and you had to be at that point where you're going to see there's different things that you cannot be controlling every daggone thing. We don't have control over our lives, okay? The only thing we have, you know, I got to remind myself that too. I'll be standing in the mirror saying, only thing you have control over is your attitude on what you're dealing with. This, this out your control, how you seem to do it, how you tend to move through that day, what you say, what actions you're doing behind it, and what decisions you're having. That's the only thing you have control over. On the rest of it is from the man, the most high. And you're doing those different things and, you, you know, different things will pop off. It'll be certain times that God will leave that bait right there just to see. He's like, okay, I'm going to see if you're going to do something that you know that you need to do. But, you know, it'll be something that you, you know, certain people, you know what I'm saying? It'll be, you know, if you used to doing things where you feeling like you're getting over on somebody. And it'll be these different things like you need to heal and stop, you know, trying to get over on people. Or you need to heal and, you know, not be rude to people. Or there'll be different things that you need to face and you need to face that. And there'll be different things that God is just putting. God and universe will be kind of, you know, just keep putting in our ways just to see how we're going to deal with it. You know, God knows that we don't like doing all the stuff he got us doing. He already know that. You be trying to get over one thing and ten other things come up right behind that. But these are the different things. That, this is how we grow. This is how we, we go through things. You know, there will be different times that we can feel some type of way and say, Oh, I wish I never met these people. And you have to understand, you wouldn't be able to know 
you, you know, you can't sit up here and wish regret on that because these are the things that you had to learn because there'll be people in your life that bring so much joy into your life, but there'll be some people that came in and brought so much hell to your life, but you had to learn these things and then you will know the different red flags that comes up or the different white flags that comes up, you know, and being able to see is this person being genuine or is this, you know, people cloaking, doing some other things and these are the things you had to know because then it's just like when these things take off in that way you'll be able to know you'll be able to stop it right before I even get started like uh-uh I already, I already know where this is coming from I'm good peace you know uh -uh, you know it's just like I've been going through that on and off this year I really have I've had different people come back into my life or I could have bumped into somebody on you know on social media and stuff like that because I really don't be out and about like that but you know um I learned a lot I learned an awful lot. There'll be different times though, certain things will, you know, they'll really get up under my skin at times. And now it's just like, now it doesn't, you know, it's just like, okay, you know, are you going to react to it? No. Is it out of your control? Yeah. <laughs> you got better things to do? Hell yeah. I'm going over here and just do my thing. And these will be the different times that you really had to sit back. You've probably been in solitude for a minute. And, it, you you know, you could have been going through a whirlwind of emotions. We're all over the place right now because you're going through a huge transference. And that mess is just like, ugh, it don't quit. It don't quit. Especially after that new moon and junk like that. It had all intensified. You know, uh, a lot of different things was coming in. Heavy downloads and all that stuff. And it was showing me we're all going through spiritual tests. You know, you'll know if you're, you know, you'll be knowing different things that's going on into your life. And you'll know, because a lot of times we get into that vibe like, man, ain't nothing changing. And it's like, actually, yeah, it is. But look at how certain things in your life that has probably been laid out there for you that you used to really get ticked off about. And you were like, man, look, I did this and this and this and that. Now I got to deal with this. And it'll be this like, mm, what you going to do? Hell, just go ahead and do something else. Son. You, you, it's like... Well, you can't do it. No, I can't do anything about it. All right, then. You just lay that there. If you need a woo star, you know, go go listen to some music. Go take a walk. Go meditate. This is doing. Then it's just like, you know, when you sit back, you'll notice like, man, I used to trip off of these different things. And now it's just like when I see it, you know, I'm not allowing myself to get all bent out of shape because this is not something I control. Ding, 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 ding. You just passed the test. Because God will throw something out there real quick, like, you know, just to see. And you'll feel it in your gut, like, he already know you about to get riled up. And you, you be saying something, I said, I'm going to go ahead and say this, but let me go ahead and watch my verbiage when it comes to God. Could God be that one? <laughs> he can put me out of commission real quick. You know, he can be able to do that. And so it'll be just like, yeah, uh, I see what you're doing. And you'll probably show me clarity about this later. I'm really trying to understand what you were doing. But I already know that rejection was for my protection. I'm pissed at you right now. But I'll get back to that later. And then clarity will come in and we're like, oh, I appreciate that. And I'm glad, you know, I apologize if I came a little rough off the edges with you. You know, be like one of those different things. And it's like, he already know. Especially if you know you've been doing a lot of clearing, you're going to be a little bit edgy. You're going to be a little bit edgy. But it's just telling you just because things can get kind of freaky or kind of scary, don't fall back into what's familiar for you. Because if it was, you are going to warn your welcome out in that in that chapter of your life. You have learned that part of you is no longer needed. Now it's going to that next episode. Yes, going to the next episode, it can be very scary because you don't know what's coming around that corner. But it's like I always have to tell myself, if God and universe is sending me that way, I have nothing to worry about. But if you talk about the man down the street with the two cats and a dog that want to sit up on top of the roof and be howling all day all night those are the ones you need to be worried about you know if they're telling you 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 already done had your experience here you don't learn your lesson you're not clearing your karma because you're clearing your karmic debt you know you had to go through a lot of hellish situations and i mean stuff wasn't it wasn't petty it wasn't petty peter it wasn't backseat betty or sidewalk sally that mess was hitting you heavy you know heavy hairy it was one of those kind of moments and I mean it was really hitting you and it'll be at those times like when you're really clearing you can be clearing about 10 different things and about 100 different things come right back in this place I'm like damn am I going to be able to breathe yet can we pause in between stress moments God damn you know, be all itching and shit. You know, be one of those kind of moments. But these are the different things it's like you got to roll with the punches warriors can't be taking breaks like that you know, like sometimes you got I gotta go to the bathroom, you better go right there. Unless you're about to get shot. 
Then you're going to be one of those different things. Warriors, you're going to really put that definition. You're really going to understand what a warrior is when you get to that point in your life. We right there where you 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 really trying to understand what God putting you through. Why do I got to keep going through these things? You know, I be high one minute. And I ain't talking about high like Bob Marley high. But you being on natural high where you're seeing things and you're so grateful. And you're understanding why you went through these things. And you're, you know, you're grateful that you were protected. You're grateful that you got that knowledge. You're grateful for you had the insight. And you kept moving on. And you're understanding like that. You know, these little things I used to get all bent out of shape for. And it can be something real petty but it'd be it'll be that type of situation if you know you've been going through stuff back to back it could be the littlest things that'll set you off now i'll be at that point like look man i got i got energy i gotta sit up here and wear out because i gotta go to work mom ain't got time for this this that something out of my control to something i can't change and, and you know i'm gonna leave that to the big boss up there and that's all he doing you know he'll put something in your life just to show you you got control you know over what's what, what i just put in front of you no I can be control on how I seen it, what you trying to tell me and what I need to do after that. But other than that, no, I can't do anything about it. Thank you. You're just trying to show you, you have no control over things. Or even if things get some kind of way, you try to maneuver around something. You used to maneuver around certain things. It'll be just like, you know what? If it's meant to be, it'll happen for me that way. I can't, you know, you can't go chase after something. You can't make something happen. You know, you can't manipulate different timelines to just, to, you know, go things in your way. If this is meant for you, it's going to unfold exactly how it is. Divine timing. You already know that. Trust the process. Process and patience is one of the words that really get me into my moments. moments. But it'll be those different things like trust the process. You know, if you've been putting out good, you know, you've been rolling hard for yourself. You've been hustling, hustling hard. You know, you've been on your grind, doing different things. You may, you know, you had to make, had to be pushing out a chill moment with with your friends and your homies and your family and stuff like that. You've been having to be by yourself because this is at that time when you got by yourself. You had to really sit here and be one with yourself. And a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to do that because there'll be certain things that's really, you know, really on our minds that we don't want to let go of or we don't see a solution to it or you just want to ignore that because it's too painful and it's just like you can't keep putting things on a back burner. There's going to be a day where you, it, you know, you keep letting it add up, you can add up and add up and you're avoiding that. It's only going to make it worse. And these are the different things. It's like, because they always show you, it's like the more you ignore, the harder it gets when it keeps coming around. You know, and it's going to keep being that way. And you'll even see that, you know, I used to learn that when I was going through dating. You know, I told people that because they were like, Raj, you know, how do you do it? You know, and it was just like, you know, I'll tell people, especially if you know me for years, they'd be like, girl, what's wrong with you? Well, seven years. It was like, what was it? August 2nd, seven years has been, it's not been celebrated. And that had been crazy for me. That was a new one for me, you know. And But I felt so good. I felt, you know, my energy was good, you know. And I had to worry about, you know, different things that was going on because I trust myself. I know I'm, you know, I'm clearing. So, but it will be just different things. It's like, Rosalind, I don't know if I can do it. I say, hey, <laughs> if you put in certain positions, you're going to have no choice but to do it. But it, it's just like I tell people, if you know you want that right relationship, you have to look at all the problems on what happened in your failed relationships. These are the different things that you, I mean, this is your, your checklist on what not to do and what to do and you when you look at these things and you heal from whatever it is that happened in those relationships you don't have to worry about just jumping in because you know sometimes you know I, I've been there I, you know I have friends there you know seeing your ex so went off with somebody and then all of a sudden you feel like you got to be tag team like they just uh, moved on that quick and da, 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 da. You, you know what a lot of times it'll be like a K Michelle thing you have to get over one to, you got to get another one to get over the other one and you add more to your belt you don't want to do that in, in, in a heavyweight drama no you have to be able to understand why did this relationship not fail not just what's wrong with the with my um with my partner but what's all, all wrong with me because we're all mirroring different things in our lives where you can see how you used to be or you can see how different things is in your life that you really need to change and heal from um or things that you just have to need to accept and you know and just accept it what it is and just move on so these are the different things you're doing so sometimes you got to be by yourself you know and with that because it's just like when you know what you want because it's like i used to tell people when i got in relationships you know it's my ask me what are you looking for in a relationship i'm like i I don't know you know and it'll be like you giving somebody open wind of all kind of manipulation and stuff like that when you was like what you bring to the table bitch i am the damn table 
And I know what I got. And, you know, it's like, I may not got much right now, but shoot, I got a lot of stuff that you just can't see yet. You know, and it'll be that time where if you don't appreciate what's being served on the table, I'm going to take my stuff and go on to the next table. And it'll be different stuff like that. Now it's just like, I already know what I'm not going to deal with, what I'm not going to accept, what you're not going to do, what you ain't going to do. You know, what I'm going to, you know, cater to and what I'm just not going to condone. You know, and I'm dead serious about that. I get real heavy on what I'm not going to deal with real quick. And it's just like when I see somebody trying to play mind games. Oh, nah, bro. You can stick that over there. But I appreciate it, though. Have a nice day. You know, I'm going about a business. So I'm glad I went through those situations because it was just like I went through all these different situations before because I jumped into relationships quick because I didn't want to be by myself. And it's just like, okay, they done moved on. So I got to move on. It'll be those different things. And it's like I keep on having the same situation over and over again. The same deep, it's like the same deep, uh, demon, different situation. You know, it's, it's going to be the same thing, except different faces and all that. So I had to be able to have that time for myself. Now it's like when I know what I learned and appreciated in my relationships, it's like these are the things I had to go through. This is such a blessing, even though I, it could have been a lot of heartache, heartbreak, you know, different things that, you know, this is what people are bringing on, on a part of our life. And these are the different things that takes place that you can really be blessed off of. So you're going through these different things or you're going through trials and errors. You're going through different experiences into your life where um, you're just seeing how, like, like God is testing the waters with you. He's testing the water with everybody right now. He'll put you in a situation and go see, huh, how you handle it? Like, oh, well, well, can I get a spiritual chill or something and see if this is right? Nope. It's like teacher is always quiet during the test just to see how you're going to move. Because it's like, yeah, they want you to be able to go towards them when you need assistance. But there will be certain things you just going to have to, you know, you don't know what to do by yourself. You, you can't hold your hand this whole time. You done been going through different things. So they're telling you, use mindfulness, use discernment. There will be certain things that you'll see like you really want to get off your chest and you really want to vent with somebody. And you notice that everybody that you're trying to talk to are either busy or you're trying to text somebody or you call and the call drop. It'll be certain things. No, this is something that you cannot be talking about. These are certain things you have to just find out on your own. Add more people people into it gonna bring you some unwelcome energy it's gonna make that situation worse than what it is so this is at that time you have to really sit with yourself trying to understand what god needs for me to do and a lot of times we've got to quiet our minds because especially if our minds and our energy is all over the place you can really put yourself in a situation you really don't want to be in so it'll be different things it's like where you have to really understand what what was taking place what what are you seeing what you know even when you're going through the worst thing in your life Try your hardest to see what, you know, out of this hellish situation I'm in, what is the positive I can pick out of it? If you can pick three to five, you know, positive things out of the hellish situations you're in, maybe it's like this situation is telling you you're not, you know, you're not in the right position or this is not for you. You know, it could be something like a job you wanted. And it'll be just something like, man, you know, this is everything that I wanted. You know, the 401k, the right pay. You know, I got weekends off. You know, va you know, pay vacay and all these different things. But you weren't, next thing you know, you had all the qualifications. Hell, you were actually overqualified. You know, and, but for those situations, next thing you know, you didn't get the job. And that can be really bad. You know, it really bad. But see, where in God's eyes, he's, he's like, this is the whole point telling you you don't need to be working for the man i'm gonna make you i'm gonna make this work for you you gonna have your own i'm gonna let you be your own boss at this you don't gonna need nobody you ain't gonna be the underhand man you gonna be the man or the woman it'll be certain situations like that and it can be like you bummed out like man i really had my hopes set on this job and this and this and that and it was just like god was just preparing you just to lead you off to be able to know you about to be your own CEO. He didn't want you walking off over here because see they could have they could have seen all your gifts and all the things that you you qualify for and be trying to sit up here and have you doing all this and they're gonna end up taking the credit for it. And you ain't gonna really be acknowledged for it because they see something in you and you already intimidated just because the fact is you outdo the daggone CEO. So he ain't gonna wanna deal with you like that. Y'all God already seen that daggone train you know that daggone train wreck. Right before it happened, like, nah, I got something even better for you. You know, you thinking that was good? No, that was good. He got something in store better for you. So these are the different things that's going on in life where, you know, we have to really see how it's unfolding. And I mean, I hate that word, process and patience. That, those are fighting words to me. You know, especially when it was like, shoot, you see what the heck I'm going through? It's like, yeah, we do. Hell, we wrote it out for you before you even, <laughs> we already had this mission on you before you even got here. So these are the different things that you're going through. 
You know, you see, really, really allowing yourself to see everything I went through was a meaning towards my life. It was like pushing my own envelope. It was a rite of passage I had to go through. You know, a lot of us are going through different tragic things into our life where it really awakens something on a part of ourselves that not yet to be acknowledged. You know, you're finding out more about yourself through your trials and tribulations. You're really seeing the strength you have when, you know, everybody turned their back on you. You know, or you, you see the kindness in your heart. Even when people just stabbed you all up in it, you still show kindness to other people. Hell, you probably even show kindness to the enemies that did it. And being able to know, there'll be a lot of times where you can go through so much and be like, you know, why am I being nice? God wants to show you this, this world is cruel. We don't need to add any more cruel ass people here. You're showing out, even though I went through this, I ain't got to be like you. I can be better than that. You know, you probably still mad because of what you went through and you letting everybody else pay for that. This is my example for me to be able to say, yeah, I went through this, but I'm still pushing love out. Even though I didn't have nobody to support me, I'm giving somebody the encouragement to say you can support yourself. You know, these are all the things that are showing you. You know, when we feel like we need this person to survive, or we need to get this plan A to be able to get to plan B. Because it's like if you already planned a plan B, you fully didn't have, you didn't fully have confidence in yourself that you're going to be able to surpass this A. You know, and these are the different things to sitting off into your life where everything happens for a reason. Everything has a power of purpose on why it's happened to you. You know, a lot of times we can go and do a heart filled debt of, of despair of hurt confusion you know why did this have to happen you know why did you bring these people in my life or why did you take these people that you know i needed in my life and all this stuff and to be able to say you made it on your own look how far you got and there's a lot of people you made this on your own well you didn't make it on your own because you had your guides you had um you had god you had your loved ones that passed on or you had people in in your life that had to hurt you to show you this is what their intentions were to you but then you're going to find some people when you drop them you may be going on a lonely journey but then you're going to find people that are on that same magnitude as you on that same vibe that mess is being reciprocated you know it's all percolating around like that where you been at homie you know it'll be one of those situations where you see this person wants to see you grow these are the people that's going to be giving you compliments where you know new opportunities are coming in at you know, there'll be certain people that know they will they, they see the potential in you and they will send you to the opposite opposite direction because they're scared of what you may become. That's why a lot, a lot of people will support everybody except you because they know that you can really take something somewhere. And these are the different things. It's just like, it, you know, we'll be in our feelings a little bit. You'll be mad. You know, you may take it personal, but then it'll be in that vibration where it's showing you don't take it personal. Maybe that person ain't used to somebody being genuine with them. Most of, you know, don't take a person that person probably didn't know what love was or genuine when you came through. They might have thought you were just like everybody else. That that person got something going on just like you might have had something going on. But these are the different things you have to be able to say, you know what, I got to take this way, I got to take that. And be okay, these things happen for me. I learned so much from growing. I learned so much from being hurt. I know so much from being neglected. And these are the different things. It's like I can survive on my own. If you don't support me, it's okay. You know, I've seen the best for you. My success ain't, ain't going to stop my success for which you knew the best. I'm going to still keep moving. You know, and you can keep going and growing and you're going to understand these are the things that I had to go through to really see where my power stands at. You know, can I be able to do this on my own? Yeah, you ain't doing it alone, but sometimes you got to be alone for a minute. And you're not always alone. There's always somebody in your ear that's saying you got this. Even though it may not seem like we ain't got your back, we got your back. But a lot of times you couldn't have been able to get these things because you were around the wrong energy. You know, these are the different things that came in that would have blocked your blessings or would have kept you distracted. We needed you alone by yourself for you to figure yourself out. There's a part of yourself that needed acknowledgement into yourself. Because a lot of times if you look back, and I can even say this for myself, I I've been through a lot. You know, a lot of y'all have been through a lot. You don't found out who you really were to the core during the moments that you cried, you know, to the point where you were angry and you just wanted to fuss out everybody that did you wrong or try to prove your worth to people. You, when you have good people in your life, they're going to already know your energy before you, they even meet you. You know, it don't be different. People are not going to appreciate you until you are gone and it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Everybody is a lesson and a blessing. 
a reason for a season. And you can appreciate everything you went through. And it's just like with my situation. I appreciate everything I went through. A lot of things I may not understand. A lot of things it's hard for me to digest. But I have to be at that vibration. When God wants me to know what's for me, he will show me what's for me. I don't have to force it. I don't have to manipulate it. I don't have to, you know, cut no cords or, you know, well, actually I do have to cut cords. But, you know, cut timelines or manipulate anything. It's going to be for me. I ain't got to force it. I ain't got to chase after it. You know, just keep following where he sends me to. And these are the different things that's going on in life where you're going through those spiritual tests. And I mean, it's hitting and it's hitting hard. These things can knock you down, but it's just like, don't be in your feelings about this. This is how you're learning. These are how the things you're growing, you're healing. You know, different things is going on in life where, you know, things are... Uh, are going to rock you a little bit but those are the t different things that we have to be able to be appreciative uh, appreciative of our enemies so we got to be appreciative of distractions because these are the things like are we going to stay focused on the distractions or are we going to be focused on what we truly trying to be because that's the reason why the distractions are here you know because it's like if we go straight to it and you get straight to the blessing what are you going to appreciate what are you going to keep wanting? Like, man, I got to savor this. You know, there'll be different things I want to add on more to this. Because, you you know, if I seen how much, if you've seen how much I had to go through, you will understand why I go hard for myself. And I always want to be able to tell the people, you go hard for yourself. Even when, you know, people don't want to support you. It's okay. You support you. You know, you support you. And there will be those different times you're really going to understand. There will be a lot of times we'll be in situations where we just strike confused, bust, broke, busted in the skies and not know. But it's just at that time where spirit's really trying to speak to you. you got to make sure you're listening. You know, we're all going through different things. You know, don't be holding on to things that you clearly need to let go of. You know, different things that happen in your life where it may feel like it's totally unfair. Or it'll make, make you feel like people are getting, you know, getting away with a lot of different things in your life. But these are the things that make you and break you. It's breaking you away from things that's no longer serving you. It's breaking you away from that old you that is no longer here. You know, make its peace with it and be just like, hey, you know, my new me is here. That new element is here. That new vibe is here. And I appreciate everything that took place in my life because it showed me who I was to the core. It's acknowledging me. I'm acknowledging a person I never knew was there. You know, I hold much love for myself, much respect for myself. Nobody can't piss outside and tell me it's raining. If I feel a certain way and I know what my gut is telling me, I'm going to go with my gut before I listen to anybody that tells me anything. You know, and it'll be th those different times when I know I love myself. I'm not going to allow myself to be in a situation where I see that the energy is not, you know, is not for me. But just be able to say, okay, you know that's what that is okay that's what that is are you upset no <laughs> i just recognize what that that you know that energy is and go about my business i got better things to do i can't worry about something like that and you keep going and these are the different things that are asking you to use mindfulness you know some especially if you already know what your weaknesses are a lot of times that will come back and stuff you want you gotta remember that if, especially if you know it ain't good for you like man look this don't put me a setback you know a couple of days you know a couple of weeks a couple of days. i mean you can go 500 paces back and just for you entering that person's life or letting that person come back in your life you don't put 100 spaces back you know or just for you thinking a certain way can block all type of stuff out you know different things come in to get up under your skin or trying to piss you off or trying to d distract you from something is already that they're doing exactly what they were brought here to do you know, I had to be able to remind myself, even your enemies are a part of your outcome. You know, we got those. We, we can't go straight towards things because we have to be able to understand, you know, how precious this is. Or, you know, what I'm supposed to build off of this. What can I make from this? Or what do I need to part ways with? And these are the different things that's going on within your life. They all will be different days, you know, different days. That, you know, things are just not going to go your way. You get pissed off. You know, I was like that the other day. Shoot, I had a cigarette. I didn't give a damn. You know, I haven't had one in months. You know, and I was just like, you know, I was kind of, you know, I was feeling myself like, damn, why'd you do that? But it's okay. You know, you have been strong for a lot of times and you did not have to go towards self-medicating. And this was that one time that you were just, you had it. And it's okay. You know, you don't have different times like that where things going to really hit hard for you. But when you are allowing yourself to say, okay, I had a slip up, now I'm back on the saddle again. You know, I'm not going to allow that one little slip up and make me feel like I can't get back on that saddle. I just got to go on there a lot harder and hold on tight to them damn ranks. So, you know, you're going through those different things. So, whatever you're going through right now, 
know is a rite of passage for you. Just being able to understand there's something that you really need to know about yourself, know about your surroundings. What did you need to understand? What are you not allowing yourself to see? What things did you need to really digest and accept and move on? What things you have to let go of? What things do you have to change your focus on being? What things you need to constantly show gratitude and being able to know that 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 situation or that person really, I appreciate them. You know, matter if it was good, bad, happy, or sad, you're using discernment. You're using mindfulness. You know, and these are the different things that's taking place in your life. You know, it's just like when you take that real big step back, that real step back, you don't understand. Damn, these are the things I was supposed to go through. These are the things that made me want to level up in my warrior mode. You're going into beast mode right now. This is the end of the year. You're supposed to be winding down. Go ahead and, you know, you know pop up. You know, you're going through your different things like that. You know, you're going through some stuff. This is, it happens when you get ready to have blessings in your life. Because you really had to understand why you had to go through this in the first place. Because if you're still going around that circle and you don't understand, you done been through it. Especially if you done been through it. These are recycling situations. Like, come on, man. Dang. You done been through this ten times. You still not getting that lesson. You have to really let that sink in. Why did I have to go through this? Why is this situation keep coming up? It's going to keep coming up until you get that answer. And as soon as I said that, my nose started itching. Good God. Okay, I got it. Okay. So you're going through these different situations. And my nose just started getting red. Ooh, Jesus. You're going through different situations. And these are going to be the betterment of you. It may be putting you through hell. It may be putting you through hell right now. But these are the different situations where you, when you finally get where you're at, you may have a little tear jerk or, you know, you get that lump in your throat. You're like, you know what? I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for my highs and my lows, my yeses and my noes. You know, and your no is always the next opportunity. There's all, and when you know you're going towards something that's really going to be meaningful to your life, next opportunity, you keep going. If you got to take a pause for that cause, you do that. You gonna fall off that saddle? That's fine. You know, even if you have to take a break, that's fine. You know, regardless on what people are thinking or assuming about you, let them assume. Let them think. You know what you're doing. God know what you're doing. Universe know what you're doing. That's the only person that matters. You know? And these are the different things that's creating you for the better. So allow yourself to know everything in your life is coming out as a test. <laughs> okay? You learn from those different things. Make sure you're doing it. You know, certain times, you know, it will just throw that bone just to see what you're doing. So you pay attention. You need to pass this time. So um, I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to my sister from another, Mr. Farah Hazard. Much love to you. And Kate, much love to you. It's good to hear from you. And Storm, much love from you as well. If you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know more. I leave all my contact uh, information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Um, just be able to help you have a deeper understanding of purpose, uh, why certain things are taking place into your life. You know, all on a mission of knowing ourselves to the deepest core. And that's basically what's going on. So, you know, I love to be a part of that with everybody. You know, and also on my community page, I've been starting to drop off my daggone podcast again. So that's on there on my, my community section too. It's not the same. It's the same concept, but it's just different content. It's about Hayokas and stuff like that, you know. Uh, seeing things in a different way. Just having a deeper understanding why certain things take place. Why are you being tested? You know, being able to change different things after you, you've gone through some very intense, you know, stuff like that. But I've been putting those on there as well. You know, so check those out. It's all on my community section of my um, channel as well. Um, what else? Up? God, dog, I ain't did no videos in a week, so I'm kind of messed up on that. Okay, so, you know, um, and send out so much love towards anything. Anything you're going through right now that you're really trying to stay on, on your, your vibe of manifesting uh, into fruition. I'm sending that all to you. Whether it's consistency, patience, clearing, healing, you know, alignment, enlightenment. I'm sending all that towards you to 20 million times fold. You know, right now it is coming towards the end of the year. So, you know, you, you, we've been all dealing with a lot of stuff. You know, this could be, you know, a sad time for you uh, for Christmas. It's like, you know, you don't have your family or, you know certain things you're probably some loved ones are not here at that um time as well so it can be very downer you know for a lot of people and you know you may be getting ready to see your family so you know all those different things but i'm sending it all towards your way and um if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation to the cash app is there as well always um so i hope you have a blessed safe weekend 
you know, happy holidays. I forgot what day it is. I don't know. But anyways, happy holidays and everything <laughs> towards y'all. You know, uh, please be safe. And, um, uh, yeah, please be safe. And it's like uh, through social distancing, please make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wise frequencies. You don't know. These things can really take somebody a long way. And just for you doing it for no kind of intent or, you know, in, um, in intentions or motives, it's going to take you even further. So much love to you. God bless. Namaste. Shalom. I say peace.